Yeah, yeah, it's Pastor. Hey, 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 yeah, Chris hey. Cash. Okay, you know how we coming. How you on my blog? You ain't got no idea. I think I'm gonna call him my phone. I, I, I was just smoking some dope and I was cool. What's good, YouTube, man? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your neighborhood pastor. Back on the scene. First day on. I don't even feel like talking about it, man. I just want to get this video done for y'all, man. It's, it's, it's stuck in on there, man. But, um, doing a reaction video to, you know, top 10 of uh, expensive homes for NBA players. Um, what else, man? I got story time coming soon, man. Next video, so be tuned to that. Uh, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, and leave feedback, all that good stuff, man. For we're on the road to a thousand subscribers, man. We almost there by the end, by, by the day, man. So hit that, smash that like button. I mean, smash that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Man. attempting to sell his ridiculously overpriced mansion for the last couple of years with no avail. The 56,000 square foot estate valued at $29 million comes fully loaded with three climate controlled multi-car garages, a complete state of the art gym, an NBA regulation sized basketball court, a tennis court, a putting green, and a three bedroom guest house. If that doesn't sell you, then maybe Michael Jordan himself can. After struggling to get bids on his mansion for the past three years, the NBA legend released a self-produced I Am commercial that he made specifically to promote his mega home. He even halved its price to a little under $15 million, and just to sweeten the deal, offered to outfit its buyer with every edition of Air Jordans ever made, which may be one of, if not the greatest signing bonuses of all time. He ended up taking his listing off the market because he could not find a buyer at the price he wanted, even at the discount price. It's a bit of a tough sell since it is located in Chicago. Illinois, and not somewhere warm and luxurious like Miami or Los Angeles. After LeBron James left the Miami Heat and decided to take his talents back to the Cleveland Cavaliers, he was faced with a tough challenge to overcome, saying goodbye to his extravagant $17 million home in Miami. Overlooking the Biscayne Bay and Coconut Grove, his modest 12,178 square foot estate came with the standard eight bedrooms, six bathrooms, a wine cellar, guest house, library, home theater, an infinity pool, and a dock capable of hosting two 60-foot yachts simultaneously. To summarize, he was living quite a luxurious lifestyle. LeBron James' asking price was $15 million and reportedly sold his Miami mansion for $13.4 million to Florida real estate developers, which is $4.4 million more than he originally paid. Not bad. After signing a five-year, $118 million contract with the Miami Heat this offseason, Miami Heat forward Chris Bosh put his 10,700-square-foot cool. villa up for sale with an asking price of $14.5 million. The home in question is located at the top of the knoll in the Palisades Highlands of California. The home has a beautiful, unobstructed view of Topanga Canyon while also overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Outside, you'll find an infinity pool with a classy swim-up bar, plus a full outdoor waterproof kitchen with an attached brick pizza oven. On the inside of the Grand Tour, there will be six large bedrooms, most with massive walk-in closets, eight full bathrooms, a professional full-size gym, a home theater, and to top it all off, a sports bar and billiards room. Bosch had previously offered it as a rental for $45,000 a month, which Donald Glover, known for his alternative identity as rapper Childish Gambino, had actually rented out to record his most recent album, Because the Internet. Hmm. Miami Heat's Dwayne Wade bought a bayfront Miami mansion just a couple blocks away from his good friend and teammate Chris Bosch, who as previously mentioned had also just recently moved. Wade had spent a long time searching for a place that he could call home. 
he looked at more than 50 homes before finally choosing his current residence. The home was originally listed for $17.9 million, but Wayne had managed to skillfully negotiate the price down for $7 million less than the asking price. Surprisingly, Wade had never even seen the place before purchasing it. Guess he just liked the photos that much. The 28-year-old NBA guard now owns a $10.65 million gated Mediterranean-style house located on the Lagorse Island. It's backed right onto the beach, giving him a gorgeous, unobstructed view of the ocean. But the view isn't the only thing people are talking about. The place comes fully loaded with eight large bedrooms, nine full-size baths with complimentary powder rooms, maids' quarters, dual kitchen areas, a tennis court, pool, a wet bar, an adjacent guest house, an air-conditioned doghouse, and of course, a basketball court. At age 18, LeBron James was the first overall pick in the 2003 NBA Draft. Since then, the Miami Heat player LeBron James has been the king of the court, and now with his new home, James can be the king of his castle off the court. Before even playing his first game, James had racked up numerous endorsements with big-name companies like Gatorade, Coca-Cola, and McDonald's. James bought his first home with this endorsement money, a simple $9.2 million starter home that he had built from the ground up on a nice 30,000 square foot Bath Township property. It's now a 19 room house that features six bedrooms, eight full bathrooms, a recording studio, a two lane bowling alley, an online casino, a home theater, sports activity bar, aquarium, barbershop, and a main bedroom suite with a two story stroll in closet. But now, 13 years later, the home must have been feeling a bit small, because LeBron traded up and became the proud owner of a $50 million mansion that was once owned by the legendary NBA coach Pat Riley. The Ooh. home which is hidden away in the exclusive Coral Gables community has over 880 feet of water surrounding the property. A stunning interior full with 8 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a complete gym, a massive pool, a home theater, and as always, a basketball court. The court Vegas. In May of 2012, pop star Avril Lavigne put her Bel Air mansion on the market for $9.5 million. Just a few months later, recently traded Chris Paul swooped in with his new Clippers money and scooped it up for a cool $8.5 million. Paul apparently walked into the building and immediately fell in love with the home. With all things considered, who wouldn't? Paul's new digs has more than 12,000 square feet of space, 8 bedrooms, a pool, a hot tub, a wine cellar, a tennis court, a gym, a spa, a study room, a home theater, an outdoor patio with a TV, a fully equipped outdoor kitchen with an equally as equipped outdoor bar attached. In fact, it seems like the entire place is set up to do just about anything, regardless of if you're in or outside. On March 13, 2008, German basketball player Dirk Nowitzki purchased an $8 million mansion in Street Lake, nice. Dallas, Texas, aka Billionaire's Row. Rumor has it that Nowitzki was able to steal the place at an amazing discount because his real estate agent just happened to be good friends with the owner's son, Michael Gruber, aka Groobs, aka the board op for BAD Radio on the ticket. Exactly how much he saved on this deal is unknown, but in a brief interview, the original owners claimed that they did not make a profit off the sale. The house in question is 9,215 square feet of colonial revived property with a five bedroom, six bath prop with staggeringly tall ceilings that came fully loaded with the usual stuff, such as a three car garage, a tennis court, a swimming pool, and the always needed basketball hoop or two. Not bad. The Houston Rockets NBA superstar Dwight Howard is taking a huge loss on his waterfront mansion estate in Longwood, Florida. Oh, Howard nice. originally paid $7.78 million for the property, shortly after signing a five-year $80 million contract extension with his current team. However, after the 2008 housing market crash, Howard's house price never fully recovered, and he is now offering the property for $3 million less than what he had first paid. Howard's mansion features five bedrooms, including a master suite, has seven bathrooms, a massive professional chef's kitchen, a pool room with a wet bar, a screening room, 
an outdoor kitchen to match the first interior one, a fire pit, a swimming pool with attached lazy river, and a large gym, all wrapped up in 11,025 square feet of Gothic design good. living space. For as great as the place seems and at the low price it is set at, it is a surprise Howard hasn't been able to sell this lovely estate, but according to a few interested buyers, Howard is kind of difficult to deal with and has a very obnoxious attitude, which makes house buying an already notoriously stressful endeavor even more difficult. Unsurprisingly, similar things have been said about him on the court as well. Sure. Mm, that, NBA veteran Kenyon Martin put his Texas home on the market with an asking price of $5 million, which may seem like a surprisingly low number, considering how over-the-top the place is, with five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, life-size dolphin fountains, white marble floors, a bowling alley, an outdoor cabana, huge pool, a huge room just for playing pool, nine-car multi-garage, mm. and you guessed it, a basketball court. The 15,000 square foot home is widely considered to be a great steal, yet for some reason no one is biting. That was so long. John Wall has just bought a mansion for $4.9 million, trading in his life at an apartment near the Verizon Center for living in this Potomac behemoth. A quick rundown of his new digs features are a swimming pool with a waterfall, an outdoor grilling setup, a home theater, a six-car garage, a personal gym, and just like all the others, the 17,350 square foot abode includes a basketball court. On top of all that, Wall can host plenty of family and friends by utilizing one of the eight bedrooms and bathrooms. All in all, John Wall says he is very happy with his trade-up. There he is. Man, that was a good video, man. Any house I choose, I all of them. Uh, I'll go with. I'll go with John Walls. I like John Walls. For some reason, it, it fits me more than all of them. But um, you already know, man. Stay tuned for the next video. Probably Tuesday. Like I said, I'm drawing videos back to back every other day, man. So y'all stay tuned, gaming channel coming real soon. I know I've been stalling, but it's coming real soon. I've just been trying to fix a couple things on my computer to get everything set up perfectly, man. So but don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, man. Leave feedback, man. We out, man. We go run it up. Oh yeah. Man. It's past the Hey. 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 Yeah, Chris Cash. Okay, you know how we coming. How you on my blog? You ain't got no idea.